Okay, early to bed, early to rise makes a woman healthy, wealthy, and wise. That's why you're wiser than me. It's Stephen. Hi, I'm Maurice. I'm an executive by day and a wild man by night. Hi, my name's Monroe. Uh, you've probably already noticed that I have incredibly blue eyes. My name's Lemon Drop, and uh, I like I like long walks on the beach. Hi, my name is Phil. Uh, most of my friends call me Big Phil. Okay, um, I like to talk to people uh, deep into the night. Hi, I'm Fred. I, I would like to meet a nice girl who I can just go on long walks with and, you know, just enjoy each other's company, you know? Hi, my name's Mike, and if you're sitting there watching this tape smoking your cigarette, well, hit the fast-forward button, because I don't smoke and I don't like people who do smoke. Get more, get more honest. Get more real. I'm not afraid to get sand on my tuxedo if you're not afraid to let the wind mess your hair up a little bit when I take the top down. Perhaps even a, a nice bath with some champagne and candles. Hi, Mom. I like feet. Um, I do fashion photography, and I do consider myself a refined valley dude. Okay, I'm looking for a trendy girl with a simple smile. Wait, it says here, oh, excuse me. Like, I don't dress up as, like, characters that I like, you know? And the female could dress up as characters that they like. And, uh, you know, we just, uh, interact. I don't know, what I'm not looking for is, uh, some big, overgrown monster that's always thinking about food and... Whoso binds to himself a joy, doth its winged life destroy. You do our own thing, you know, it's like, oh, you're the hostess, you're, you're a waitress, I'm the businessman. Vivacious, foxy. I'm looking for the goddess. Are you the goddess? Who is the goddess? The goddess is the woman, is a woman, is any woman, is all women. I like dressing up in, like, furry costumes and, like, acting like I'm a cat. A figure that is sexy, slim, tight, excellent legs. Mm. I'm a 25-year subscriber to both Playboy and the New Yorker magazine. Sometimes, sometimes I just cover myself in honey while I sit in a bathtub alone while reading the New Yorker. At night I operate a damsel in distress hotline. I guess you'd call me a knight. Uh, one of my favorite foods is pizza. And just sugar and spice and all those things that are nice. I like to stare at horses. And imagine if I was a horse, just running around, just being free and stuff, if, you know, running around naked and having a good time while people ride me. I like to be with people who are, who are as fun and adventuresome as well. Is into having fun. Have fun. Having fun? I enjoy having fun, yes. Looking for somebody who, has, who likes to have a lot of fun. I'm looking for someone to have fun with. I uh, love to have a good time, uh, able to have fun. Yeah, but just, I just want to find someone that I care about, you know? Someone that cares about me. Uh, fun and laughter. And anything that's fun, I like to have fun. And, uh, and have a lot of fun. Are you looking for me? I like to hunt Sasquatches in my time off, you know? Like, like, God, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the guy who finds Sasquatch. That's gonna be, that's gonna be so cool. No fatties. Uh, I want it all. No hamsters. I steal watches. No dopers, no smokers, no alcoholic. I do a lot of clipboarding about UFOs and alien abduction. I was abducted once. We don't like to write checks. No Donna Juanitas. We don't like to take out the garbage. No posers. I want to find a girl that's into butt play. What I'm doing right now is making a movie about World War II. No crazies. Santa Monica and my front porch swing. I like having sex with inanimate objects. Trees, cars, abandoned couches. I'm currently involved in cleaning up toxic waste. I'm not having fun doing this. Sidewalks, abandoned buildings. Do you like cats? Domestic violence. I, I like to wear bright socks and I'm an avid Cleveland, Cleveland Browns fan. Dishwashers. Sexual abuse. Life is a playground and I want somebody to play with. Ever heard of necrophilia? All sorts of alcoholics and addicts and stuff. Because I really have a zany sense of humor. I like to tie sacks of 
potatoes to my junk and swing it left and right and left and right. We probably don't like to clean the house. Uh, my mother still writes to me regularly. I like it when the girl like spits on me and beats me and tells me I'm trash. Because I average about four hours a night's sleep. I will cry at a commercial. I'm interested in most phases of data processing. One thing I'm really into is going to the zoo and rubbing my junk up on the glass while all the animals just stare at me. Fire-breathing dragons. Type A, I'm not comfortable, caring, and serious about a relationship, I am. I want a girl who could fight. I'm, I'm really looking for somebody I can feel special about, and I don't encounter people like that very often, and I'm hoping you're one of them. Are you that woman? Please give me a call. And you know that a journey always begins with the first step. And I hope that if you like what I'm trying to say, or you'd like to know more about me, to please write. Also, cannibalism gets a bad rap. Like, you know, all I'm saying is don't knock it till you try it, you know? Like, you know, one man's taste buds is another man's treasure. I think that's a saying. I think that's a saying. You gotta try food before you know you like it. You know they eat dogs over there in other countries? Did you know that? Dogs are cute. All I'm saying is you just cannibalism gets a bad rap over here. Yeah, had I tried it, I, I didn't, but if I did, I'd say it tastes a lot like chicken, you know? You just gotta sear it up basically, right? You know, it's good to marinate it for a little while. You know, I don't know why cannibalism's so frowned upon down here. Like, it's, it's, it's really a delicacy if you think about it, you know? It's like, we're, we're eating other people, like, you know? We're, we're doing like the Indians did, make use of all of our resources. Sure save on funeral costs, that's for darn sure. Feed hunger a lot too. Maybe all the places over in foreign countries wouldn't be starving so much if they could eat other people. All I'm saying is we should just really rethink the whole eating people is bad thing, you know? Because I don't think it's that bad, you know? It was just, you just gotta cook it up right, that's all I'm saying, you know?